Froggy's First Kiss by Jonathan London It was the week before Valentine's Day. And for Froggy, Valentine's Day meant candy. But it also meant love. At school, Froggy's mind wandered. Froggy! cried his teacher, Mrs. Witherspoon. What? Kindly pay attention, dear. And that's when he saw the prettiest girl frog in the world. The new girl in class. Her name was Frogalina, and when she smiled at him, his insides got all soft and wiggly, like he'd had caterpillars for breakfast. Love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody, won't say who. Love somebody, can you guess who's the one that I love best? Froggy! Called his teacher. What? Your eyes should be on your work, dear. It's not polite to stare. Oops, said Froggy. At recess, Frogalina smiled at him through the monkey bars. He was hanging upside down, and when he saw her, he fell smack on his head. At lunch, Frogalina sat beside him. She smiled and opened her lunchbox. I have a treat for you, Froggy. Close your eyes. And she gave him a big, juicy apple. Love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody, won't say who. Love somebody, can you guess who's the one that I love best? After lunch, Froggy and Frogalina played tetherball together. Frogalina wound up, socked the ball, and Froggy was so busy gazing into her eyes, the ball hit him in the head and knocked him down. <laughs> At lunch the next day, Frogalina smiled and opened her lunchbox. I have a goodie for you, Froggy. Close your eyes. And she gave him a cookie shaped like a heart. Love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody, won't say who. Love somebody, can you guess who's the That afternoon, Froggy and his class made valentines. They cut hearts out of paper. Some big, some little, some red, some pink. And on just one, Froggy wrote, I love you. He didn't want any of his classmates to see, especially Frogalina. So he worked under his desk. called Mrs. Witherspoon. What? Please work at your seat, dear, and don't make such a mess. When Froggy stood up, he hit his head on his desk. <laughs> and everybody laughed. <laughs> Especially Frogalina. At lunch the next day, Frogalina sat beside him again. She smiled and opened her lunchbox. I have a surprise for you, Froggy. Close your eyes. And what do you think she gave him? A 
big, juicy... Kiss! <whistles> Smack on his cheek! <whistles> Sputtered Froggy, looking a little more red in the face than green. Froggy grabbed his lunchbox and flopped away. Flop, flop, flop. His tummy felt so weird he couldn't eat his lunch. Not even dessert. On the bus home after school, everybody teased him. Even Max, his best friend. They sang, Froggy has a girlfriend. Froggy has a girlfriend. No, I don't, cried Froggy. But his heart felt heavy. Was it love? Was it hunger? Was it his backpack filled with Valentine cards? When the bus stopped, he flopped all the way home. Flop, flop, flop. What did you do at school today, Froggy? Asked his mother. We made Valentines, said Froggy. <gasps> did you make one for someone special? Froggy turned almost purple and flopped into his room. Flop, flop, flop. But the next morning, on Valentine's Day, Froggy served his mother breakfast in bed and said, Mom, that someone special is you. And he gave his mother the big red heart with the I love you. And his mother gave him a whole bunch of kisses. Candy kisses! Love song.